How do I feel myself a bit, okay? Just one moment. Wow. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Oh my goodness, it's been a while, okay? So I thought I would upload this video for you guys so for you to see a very nice summer look that you can rock and still be looking cute, okay? Thank you for everyone who checked on me and thank you for the new people on here as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos from me. All right, let's jump right into the tutorial. So I've started by moisturizing my face with my Lycura day cream it's got SPF 30 in it you want to get sunscreen in as much as you can and I'm priming my face also with the elf potty primer and today I'm going to be doing a mini foundation review this foundation is from Primark I picked up two shades which I'm gonna link in the description box because one or the other didn't fit me perfectly I had to mix both foundations together to get something close to my skin tone you tell me in the comment section what do you think of this match is actually quite good so if you haven't got in this foundation I I would say the medium to full coverage foundation I, I feel it will apply better with a sponge I didn't try I'll use a brush um, but I think I'm gonna try another video using a sponge to see how that wears so I went in dangerously <laughs> with my um, P. Lewis base. This shade is very, very light. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was too lazy to get <laughs> my usual concealer. And this was new, came in a post and I thought, you know what? I want to be adventurous. Let's try it, see how much I can blend it out. So I'm using this nice, fluffy, damp beauty sponge to blend out all the areas I've just um, concealed and highlighted. So the idea is to bring your face forward, add some dimension to your face and this is the only reason why we highlight and contour apart from also hiding dark circles and stuff. Um, yeah, at this point I realised <laughs> what are you doing with your life? <laughs> But I went on to continue blending dangerously um, and now this is my attempt at bringing back some colour into my face. So I'm using the Sasha Buttercup Powder, it's, um, it's got some yellow undertone to it so it's supposed to help to correct all that whiteness on my face and also to set the concealer that I have there. I'm going to sharpen my brow pencil and then draw my brows. I've done this quite a few times and I have a video on it as well if you'd like to check it out. Then I'm taking the same um, concealer I used in highlighting and contouring my face because I haven't learned my lesson. So <laughs> I use that to cover up my um, eyebrows. So I take my time in doing this and I take a, fl a fluffy brush to blend it out. So I'm just very careful with the way I blend. Everything's still looking, <laughs> still looking um, risky but I promise you it's all gonna come together in the end. So this is your real definition of trust the process, but I think it's really cute. It, I kind of added to the flavor of what I was going for anyway in the end. Um, but first I'm gonna take the same concealer to even out the base on my eyelids. So what it is, is I want the colors to pop more and when you want the colors to pop more against your skin, if you're dark skin like me, some colors may not really show out as much as they would if you um, primed your lid eyelid with like a good concealer like a light concealer so using the uh, morphe jacqueline hill palette i think it's volume two so now as you see me placing the first color on you can see how bright and vibrant the purple is if i placed it on my skin directly it would still have come out but it wouldn't have been um, as pigmented as what you see now so or vibrant um, and I would have had to pack it on for you to see anything 
okay so i think i'm fine with that i've only used just one color on this um i just placed it at the corner of my eye uh, made sure to not push it out too much and i'll take the exact same brush to continue to pack it in and then later fluff it out um, the same color not add it anymore i'm just going to use that same brush same color and take my time and gently blow it out okay uh, as i was going to the teal on the day i went to get the foundation as well i saw this in a cart somewhere and i'm like oh it's on sale i thought oh mm, i'll just pick it up and see what i could do with it and i picked it up and oh i'm impressed i actually love it and it's got if you could see um on the video i think the camera picked it up a little bit you can see it has some kind of um shimmer to it it's quite uh, it's just lovely and i went out to wet my brush as well because i wanted it to be more pigmented i wanted to pack it more of that pigment um in the inner corner of my eyes because i wanted that lilac color to come out and be more vibrant um, so that's why I went in there. So if you have a, an eyeshadow or a pigment that's not really showing out, you want you may want to spray your brush and then go back into the pigment and apply it and see the difference. I went back in with my first brush. I realized that when I put in the pigment, the second pigment, um, some of that color at the end kind of washed out. So I went back into that um, first color and I used that to apply it again just to reinforce the spokiness. So I'm taking a tapered pencil brush, I'm using that to blow out the bottom lid. I used the pink colour, I used the first on top um, to the bottom. So now I'm going to line my waterline with my pencil. This is the Essence pencil, I think it's shade is in Fever. Um, it's actually a good pencil. I'm really sorry guys. I sound quite nasal. I've got the cold I'm just recovering, you know Here and there and I thought you know what if, if I leave this video on too long um, Or if I just didn't upload any videos, I wouldn't feel good anyway I might as well just um, film this voice over and push this video out for you guys So you know that you know, I'm not just trying to be lazy um, But yes, I'm getting better now. So yeah, I'm happy about that so I use the same pencil to line my lids on top as well. So I'm not going with any liquid liner today. Can we just talk about our 1000 subscribers guys? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Like, oh my God, I just thank God and I thank you guys for getting me there. And thank you for everyone who's going to subscribe after this video, okay? Oh, thank you so much. I'm so excited, I can't really believe it. <laughs> it may be small to some people, but it's actually a big milestone for me. And yeah, I'm just so grateful. Thank you guys for continuing to support me. And uh, please do let everyone else know about the channel. And let's grow, let's grow, grow, grow. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited. This morning, I just saw my um, notification. Uh, YouTube just sent me a message saying, "Oh, you just hit 1,000 sub," and I was just like, "Oh my goodness, what am I going to do myself?" I was just telling myself, "No one can sit with me now. You can't talk to me." you can't talk to me <laughs> i'm kidding but i'm really grateful to you guys so yeah let's get back into the tutorial so i'm just gonna spray down my face i'm using the rose water from um primac and yeah i feel refreshed and all of that so as i am because you know i'm extra i'm just gonna go back into that pigment and just add more because i feel like uh yeah i just wanted to pop even more so i'm just adding a little bit more you don't really need to so after i added that on my lid i'm just taking some of the pigment i'm putting down in the inner corner of my eyes on the bottom um so as to give it a unified look so i'm gonna take my bronzer yes i'm going to add that to my cheek it's a bronzer but it's the shimmer bronzer so i use this for my highlight usually so i usually like to put my highlight before um i spray my face with a setting spray these days i don't really know i just like the finish um better so i took a smaller brush to add that to the center of my nose if you guys can let me know in the comment section below which do you prefer um highlighting before you apply your setting spray or after you apply your setting spray 
um wh why do you prefer that way if you like to just comment down below just so how we know why you do what you do um i don't know i do both depends on how i feel so I just it's just be interesting to know what other people do as well so um i just went in with my eyebrow pencil to line the entire lip and then i added a lipstick from seattle london in a shade delight to the center to give it ombre effect and yeah i think that's the end of the look and some lip gloss yep so i know you see what i see guys i know you do okay because can i feel myself a bit okay just one moment wow here's a look okay so what do you guys think do you guys think it's really nice I'm sorry I couldn't really talk through the entire video as usual I always have something going on in the background so many times I've been nursing here you can't see that what do you guys think comment down below if you love this look if you're gonna try it out but this look is giving what it's supposed to give it's giving more than it's supposed to give like I just love it like look at me just look at me look at baby girl someone's daughter you know much for joining me in this video i'm so grateful i hope you enjoy this look i hope you're gonna recreate it if you actually enjoy this look please do comment down below like this video share with your friends everyone every single person okay turn on your um notification bell so you're able to know whenever i upload a video and don't forget to subscribe again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye Oh my goodness, let me take a picture. Joluka time, 8 to 6. So you wanna go to church? <laughs>